guys, so we just got gas, a lot of diesel gas, a lot more diesel gas than... So now that we're back, my baby bird is in her aviary, which is right over here. I need to cut her up some yummy food to eat and then I'm gonna go feed my tegu. This nice yummy mix right here, this probably will last me a couple days. Let's go give it to baby bird. Hey baby bird, what are you doing? So as you can see, what are you, what are you doing dude? Hey, hey. Baby bird loves her swing now. Are you such a funny bird? Look what, look what I got. Ooh, look what I got you! <gasps> wow! You're so funny. Would you like to come down? No, you want to just dangle? Alright, then just dangle. I just fed Baby Bird. I cleaned out all of her cages. And now it's time to thaw out some tilapia. My tegu is going to be eating tilapia today. While this is thawing, I'm going to go over to my aquarium and clean that out. Just in case I lose power for the hurricane, at least they'll have fresh water. And now it's time to bring my horses in from their turnout. I'm going through the super creepy spider dungeon stall that we still need to remove all the hay out of. We have a little bit more time than uh, we initially thought, so I really don't want to deal with creepy spiders right now, thank you. Anyways, it's going to start to rain very soon. A storm's actually approaching and it's so smoky out here. I think that people are burning a lot of their stuff. I don't know if you can tell. It smells like an awesome campfire, but everywhere. Like I can see the smoke everywhere. Hey Fligs. You and Toopy were grooming each other. Yeah, it was so cute. Yeah, he's like hot wire, don't want to touch. We ended up having to hot wire our fence because our cows kept escaping. All right, Flight, are you ready? bring you in for some reason oh flight's actually gonna go in his stall okay hey tupelo how you doing is it smoky out here girl are you gonna show me your booty oh yeah you must have got zapped today by the hot wire <laughs> somebody asked me if i was ever going to put hot wire up and my answer was i don't know if i need it then i'll use it and unfortunately my cows were escaping every single day these vinyl fences are such baby fences. If there's a little bit of pressure applied to it, it'll just pop out or it'll bend and break. If you guys don't know, he is a Hanoverian from the jumper circuit. Such a good boy. I can't wait to start riding you guys. Oh my gosh, it's killing me that I can't ride right now because literally it's way too hot for me to ride. Okay, so enough talking. Let's go let the cows out because I'm sure they want to come out. Normally the cows are in this pasture and then when I put the horses out, I put the cows over in this turnout over here. All right. Hi, are you starting to like me more? Yeah? When we got this baby, he was unhandled and very uh, untamed, I would say. He was not tame at all. <laughs> This cow over here, this is a Jersey cow, and she is the sweetest cow ever. This is Mary, spelled M-E-R-R-Y. Oh, she says, give me those pets. Give me those pets under the chin. Yes, please. She's halter trained, and she's such a good girl. Hey, baby! He's like, I hate it when you talk to me like that. I'm a grown boy, I'm not a baby, okay? Hi, baby. Extra precautious. Oh, you're actually being good today, baby, huh? Hi, baby. All right, you guys, let's go give the cows some grain. I'm gonna try and pet baby a little bit more. Here is the grain for the cows, and let me tell you, I need to hurry up because I can hear the thunder roaring, and I know it's gonna start raining soon. Mary's the dominant cow in the herd. Hey, baby. 
Those little horns are so cute. Good boy, baby. He feels so much softer than his mom. Cause he has baby fur. Look at those little horns. Touch his ears everywhere. So wrinkly, he's a wrinkly baby. He's such a wrinkly baby. Good job. Wow, this is incredible, guys. I can't believe how smoky it is out. Oh, see these swallows? They're everywhere. So you guys, I don't know if I talked to you about my garden yet, but here's my garden. I started it a little bit ago, and boom, it's looking great. We have a lot of zucchinis, bell peppers in here for baby bird because he loves bell peppers. We have some pumpkins, some arugula, some rosemary, basil, sunflowers. So this is like my fall batch. I planted this stuff later. I have some carrots in here. Haven't sprouted yet. I have some pumpkins over here, big. And honestly guys, I am kind of nervous for my garden because if we do get hit with some high winds, all my garden's gonna get destroyed. And I will be super sad. <laughs> That'd be so sad. Oh my god, I just went in here to go check on Jay and see what he's doing and I literally smell like smoke just from being outside. He says my hair stinks. Oh. Are you serious? I smell like I was at a freaking campfire and I didn't even get any s'mores. That sucks. What's going on in here? You little, you little lovebirds? You doing activities? This is where they like to play. Which means my carpet's ruined because their nails pull up my carpet and make it all fuzzy. Do you guys have any tips or tricks on how to make a fuzzy carpet not fuzzy? That's what it's supposed to look like. Alright you guys, I'm just in the kitchen. I was reading your guys' comments from my latest vlog. And suddenly from my aviary, which you can kind of see right here. Beep! I hear this. Franklin. Franklin. He's like, what? What do you want? Baby Bird's saying the dog's names. First Baby Bird started barking because, you know, dogs bark. Just what they do. So she hears that and then she starts doing it. Now Baby Bird is saying the dog's name. She says Willie Franklin. I haven't heard her say Ellie yet. He is the most bomb-proof dog I've ever had. I can vacuum next to him. I can leaf blow on him. His fur will move and he won't. He's the funniest, goofiest guy ever. These dogs are afraid of things, but this dog is like, <laughs> he's, this dog's afraid of weird things. And when he gets afraid, he runs so goofy all the way to the front door and he'll sit there and wait at the front door. Yeah, we need to take you off leash to a beach someday and practice your skills. You're such a good poodle. You good little poodle. Let's go see baby bird. Are you, you're on your swing? Hold on, is this, is this real life? What? Do you actually, you like your swing? Do you want to come out? Step up. You like your swing, baby bird? Good job! Whoop! We're practicing some flying and recall training. Fun stuff. Amelia, go! Really, girl? Really? You're gonna walk away? Oh, I see you peeking out at me. I see that. I see that bird beak peeking over the side. Baby bird. What is, it, is it more important over there? She's saying baby girl. What? You don't wanna fly to me? No? I need to investigate. What are you doing? What are you doing? Do you want to come? Do you want to come fly or no? What are you thinking? Come! Amelia! I see how it is, baby bird. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's what I thought. Three, two, one. Practice flying with baby bird. Why is my poopy so cute? My little baby poopy. He's such a good little boy. His eyelashes are so long, you guys. It's ridiculous. Can you see that? That's his eyelashes. Bad lighting, but hashtag no filter.
<laughs> my poopy. Mom! Mom, are you serious? You're gonna call him the poopy? I'm the poopy! Mom, I'm always the poopy! Seriously! Do not even give anyone attention except this guy right here. His name's Franklin. I'm the poopy. This is the poopy. This is it right here. I'm gonna defeat that guy so that he's the poopy. I'm the poopy. Are you serious? You see this guy? That's the big poop on top of the little poop. Yo, know, here first, guppy. This is me first, and then you're the little poop. That's all I'm saying right now. You're my little brother, and that's what you'll always be, this little one. I'm the big bro, Goopy. Alright, you got that? You don't tell mom that you're the poopy. Only me. Really, right now? Really? You better not be giving me that shit. You better not be. Is this gonna bite me like that? It's gonna bite my face? No, I'm really mad. Alright, I'm really. If you wanna be the poop, then you can be the stinkier poop, and I'll be the cute poop, then. I'll be the poopy emoji, you'll be the real poop, guppy. I don't have time for this. I really just don't have time for this in my life. I have a busy schedule. Oh, famous! You're not famous, Guppy! So, you just have to deal with that. This is the fact that I'm famous, and this guy's not. And I got the girlfriend. And you don't have a girlfriend. Alright. A little bit later in the evening, Jay and I are about to go to dinner. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's so smoky out today. I don't know if it's like a burn day or anything, but oh my gosh, my hair smells like smoke. It smells like I've been at a campfire. And literally, I'm gonna show you guys something, promise not to tell anyone, but I accidentally slipped down the stairs. I talked about it the other day. You guys are wondering what happened. Here's the bruise. Can you guys see that? Yep. That is on my upper thigh. And I was walking down the stairs or kind of jogging down the stairs with my socks on and I slipped and I hit my butt or my upper thigh and then I hit my head. So right here too, I hit both on my left side and I ate shit. Insert the poop, insert the poop emoji because I ate it so hard. I would say I biffed it, all right? Definitely, I have never fallen down the stairs ever. I wouldn't say fallen down the stairs, I slipped down the stairs. Um, so of course, here is my night outfit and uh, I gotta feed horses first. So that is just the name of the game while you have beautiful equines that have to eat. I like to feed them at least three times a day. So be right back. I honestly feel bad for the horses having to breathe in all of this smoke. And it makes me think like in California, this is a regular thing. Like fires and stinky smoke smell, it's a regular thing. And that's something I definitely, even though it's so hot in Florida and it's so unbearable. Oh, there you go, big boy. Fires, we really actually avoid. I have alfalfa all over my arm, it's great. All right, all my animals are happy as clams. Now it's time for some me time as in some food. And what is Jay doing? Why is the hood of the Jeep open? What's going on? What's going on? Oh. Jay pulled out a fuse earlier uh, before we got our Jeep fixed because he thought it had something to do with the fuse and uh, yeah. now navigation in the Jeep is off. Always something. <laughs> 